when our friendless standards were first unfurled? Who were the strangers who first mustered around our staff? Aaron's gorgeous sons. Ireland, thou friend of my country. In my most friendless days, George Washington, praise of the Irish soldiers, rallying to fight under the starry banner. American Revolution 1775 to 1783. Welcome and happy 4th of July to all my American friends. If you're not American, well, fear not. You might just enjoy what I have to unveil today. But today I'm a proud American and on top of that, today's video relates heavily to the fighting Irish spirit. It's no secret that the Irish people are insanely resilient, just like Americans. The Irish people are also insanely rebellious, just like Americans. Today we say not only e pluribus unum, but also Erin Gobra. Happy fourth friends, my name is Adam and this is Get Pipes, where we, well, love to pipe. Today's piping is a special piping. Today we celebrate American Independence Day for the 245th time, which is pretty cool. So cool that many other nations bow to her for her achievement. Included in that list of nations is none other than the Emerald Isle. Now, where am I going with this? How does this relate to pipes and tobacco? Well, Peterson of Dublin, of course. You all know I'm a huge fan of Peterson and, and all their products. And just when I thought my respect for the company couldn't get any stronger, they pull at my heartstrings and release an American Independence Day celebration pipe to pay tribute to the beautiful bond the American and Irish people share. And it's here and now that I present to you one of the extremely limited Peterson 2021 American Independence Day homage pipes, a rusticated Carol of Carrollton tobacco pipe. Now you can't see it because it's in the box, but just you wait, just you wait. First, we gotta jump into the history of Mr. Carol of Carrollton before we get into this beautiful pipe. American born Charles Carroll of Carrollton was one of 56 American Declaration of Independence signatories and also even a tobacco planter. Now Carroll's grandfather, a natural born Irishman, emigrated into the United States and built a prominent family presence in the state of Maryland. Carroll was raised as a traditional Irish Catholic and his fighting Irish blood did not run thin. By the 1760s, Carroll had built a significant political reputation within his his home state. It's no surprise that his rebellious Irish blood boiled at the thought of taxation without representation, just like mine. When whispers of revolution were spread, Carroll's ears were keen. On July 4th, 1776, although late, Mr. Charles Carroll of Carrollton signed his name in support of a free, independent American nation. His prestige as a rebellious Irish American continues. We're all well read on the Boston Tea Party, of course. But have you heard of the Annapolis Tea Party? On October 19th, 1774, two years before his famous signature, Carroll strolls into Annapolis Harbor like an absolute boss and sets the Peggy Stewart ablaze, a ship carrying a massive amount of tea. The target? You guessed it. The British Empire, classic Irish guy. So due to Carroll's incredibly rebellious Irish American spirit and his status as a founding father of our country, it was quite apparent for Peterson that Carroll of Carrollton deserved to vanguard this year's American Independence Day celebration. The US is Peterson's largest consumer and it has been that way for decades now. This exclusive line was destined to be made. To commemorate each of the 245 years of American independence, Peterson decided to release only 245 pipes, making them extremely exclusive. And this is my Peterson, Carol of Carrollton. This was number 97 of 245. Now I checked the stock the moment it dropped and saw an awesome lineup. They ran a line of Peterson rusticated like mine, a heritage, they had a terracotta, a sandblasted, and finally the most limited of the lot was uh, the natural finish. Now despite Briar not being used for another 100 years or so from the time of signing, Peterson elected to use a traditional clay-like shape to fit the period. And I think they absolutely crushed it. Unfortunately, at work, my service is absolutely terrible. I was unable to get the pipe that I actually wanted. I was really hoping to secure a heritage or, or even a natural. When I checked that evening, some several hours later, there's maybe eight rusticated pipes left. And I'm greatly relieved I was able to pick up one. And that was 97 of 245. I love everything about this pipe. It ties to Peterson's masterful briar shaping and tribute to the old American clay pipe. The shape parallels that of those which were likely being smoked during the signing of the Declaration of Independence. Peterson elegantly combines year 245 and year zero together with this amazing pipe. 
And the fact that it's so exclusive gives it so much more meaning. Now, 97 had no significance to me. It was just one that was available. That said, 97 years after the declaration signing brings us to the year, what, 1873? I, I say I'm doing that. I'm pretending like I did that in my head, but I actually had it written down. 1873. 1873 was known for the financial panic. Hard times for Americans followed. You know, it's likely that many Americans turned to a pipe to smoke in solace during some dark times within their lives, just as some of us do today. I am wildly proud to be an American, and I'm equally as proud to have that little touch of Irish in me. I'm just delighted with this product, and I hope you enjoyed hearing about it. So I think we'll end with that. Thank you so much for watching. To all my American brothers and sisters, despite our political stances, it's important for us to spartan shake hands and nod sternly in approval of our mutual American existence. We must stand united and push ever forward for freedom. Let us not forget the meaning of freedom. I fear some of us have, or worse, never learned. And of course, to my distant Irish kin, Erin Gobra, to my British viewers, fuck off. I'm kidding, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. Cheers, lads. Cheers, lasses. Thank you all so much for being here. That's that. Till the next piping. I'm out.